we machine learning scientists get very excited every time we hear about big data. Just look around you. Don't we now have more accurate search results and better recommendations than ever before? Think about the voice assistant on your phone or the chatbot applications you might be using every single day. All of these things are being made possible by big data. In fact, big data is the only reason why we even have a shot at once mastering sophisticated applications such as autonomous driving and so many others in so many different domains. Well, we take all of these things for granted now, but they can only exist because we now have the proper cloud technologies and the proper hardware in order to collect, store, and process data at such large scales. The issue though is that doing machine learning with big data comes at a cost. Just think about the amount of money you might be spending on data storage, on servers, on compute, and on data labeling. And we're not just talking about the monetary cost here. Think about how much longer it now takes to train a machine learning model compared to just a few short years ago when our data sets were significantly smaller. That's an issue regardless of whether you're building a brand new model from scratch or whenever you're retraining a model that's already in production. We've been taught that the only way to achieve great results and great performance with machine learning was by using more and more data in the training process. Now, of course, I can see why it feels this way, because with large volumes of data, we all expect to see a higher variance. And high variance is what is necessary to achieve the great generalization power that we all hope to get when we build machine learning models. Now, how about we had been thinking about the whole thing the wrong way all along? People often seem to believe that the value of their data is necessarily proportional to, their, to its volume, almost as if the value was equally distributed in their data sets. Now, as machine learning scientists, we do know that this is simply not the case. How many times before have you worked with a data set when you knew that a significant portion of your records might be useless either because those contain redundant information or because you, you could see that those records were irrelevant to the use case that you're working on? In fact, it's even worse because we do realize that some of the data might just be plain harmful in the training process. This, for example, happens when the data was collected by a faulty sensor or corrupted in the training process, or even when, when some of our, our records get mislabeled. Wouldn't it be so much better and so much easier for you as a machine learning scientist to just build your model on the data that you know contains the most relevant and the optimal information for your model to learn from? Now, of course, easier said than done because identifying accurately which data to keep in this process would be as hard as building another machine learning model. Well, that's exactly where Alectio comes into the picture. Alectio's core technology is inspired by active learning, a semi-supervised learning paradigm based on the incremental learning approach, and it's been originally designed to help people like you reduce their labeling costs. Now, active learning is extremely powerful because it makes strategic decisions about which data to include in the training process, and it does so based on the feedback of the model itself. Now, the issue though with the approach that authors have taken with active learning is that usually they've been relying on arbitrary human-generated rules in order to decide which data a model should see during the training process. And such rules might work well when you're working with an open source data set in academia, but unfortunately they don't work so well when you're dealing with a real-life data set. We at Alectio don't rely on any such unsophisticated, outdated methods. Instead, we've created a brand new approach, which is machine learning driven, and which collaborates with your model during the training process to help it reach optimality faster. 
This helps us understand which subsets of your data are truly helping with the learning process and which subsets of your data are actually making things worse. The end result is that you can train the same model with a higher performance while spending less time and less money than you would have by using a regular machine learning supervised approach. In other terms, you get better models, faster and cheaper. We started Alectio because we know that not all data is created equal. Let us show you how we can help.